Wait, are people trying to tell you off for having style? <laughs> no, it's just, uh... Like, I know exactly what's up. <laughs> like, I've got no... I've got... I, I, I don't have any, like, illusions about what's going on there. I, I understand exactly what this is. <laughs> I have zero need to understand myself at all. <laughs> and at this point in time, self-awareness, that's out the window. Yeah. I don't even need that. I mean, it's not worth it. It's not worth it! <laughs> it says we're live. Yeah, um, we are. Oh, we are. Oh, we we're are. live. I was going to tweet about it. Oh, God, I better tweet. Let's do it. Tactical tweeters. <sighs> oh, God, I should have brought that. Well, if only because it's warm. I not that I would necessarily want to wear an Ellen hoodie on on stream, but man, the warmth is hard to beat. I think it's kind of swaggy. I think it's yeah. like past the point where it's where it's where it's weird, and now it's just kind of funny. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, you... I hope because I dearly want you to be able to wear that in public. It has a very cursed, like, energy to it. It's so big. I have a few large friends. I have yet to find somebody who it doesn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're telling me is that it's comfortable, it's versatile, it's stylish. Um, it's... We've got a weird video situation going on over on the Twitch. Really? Is it bad? Um, it's my boobs and your forehead, basically. Oh, you know what it is? Uh... I fucked up. That's all it is. Let's see here. Uh... That's because I don't got Caves of Cud streaming. Ugh, God, I... I hate how it handles this sometimes. Hold on. Uh, oh, Sendernath says, first time I've ever gotten an ad on Game Crimes, does that mean we're coming up? Uh, we just reached affiliate status. I have no idea what that means. It means that Twitch level. starts monetizing us, apparently. What the that's hell? a shit. Oh, man, that's terrible. I mean, if, if, they're, ju if, that, <laughs> if they're just now getting ads, what the fuck? We have to donate all that money. That doesn't feel right. What's a great cause? Uh... Mike's home for discarded CRTs, that nonprofit you just started. Yeah, I mean, I only, I, I only have four nine-inch CRTs, <laughs> and currently there's only four, like, five game cubes in this house. And you know that sounds like a lot for a basement, but not for a museum. Right? Yeah. Like, I'm the new Sarah McLaughlin. In what context? <laughs> the, only, <laughs> the only one that matters. Oh, okay. I am upset. I'm disturbed. I'm thrilled. Let's go, baby. Uh, so, intrigued, maybe. About, I'm, you know, I'm always intrigued, bud. <laughs> Especially when you claim to be one of my favorite. <laughs> soft pop singers from the 90s. <laughs> and I remember your Natalie Merchant era. It was good. Oh, yeah. Do you remember everybody, like, you know, everybody had this, their book of CDs, right? Mm hmm Every single person had the same, at least every CD book that I ever went through, had the same Jewel CD. I can't remember <laughs> anybody ever actually listening to it. Probably. Yeah, the one with the flower on it. Yeah, but nobody ever actually listened to it. They just had it. I would love to excavate one of my CD books and see what monstrosities leak within there. Like, yeah. it can't be good, man. It cannot be... A, like, it's like reverse nostalgia where you feel bad about what you're looking at. I think that that Jewel CD is... It's similar to, like, pens. Like, nobody ever buys pens. They're just always around. Man, and that's no insult to Jewel. You know, being ubiquitous, that's a good thing. Yeah. Frank. 
I don't know why it says fan, fan translation PS1. I got to change that bit right quick. Um, okay, let's talk about what we're doing here before we go completely off the rails. <laughs> um, so we're playing another roguelike tonight, and it's a new roguelike, Caves of Cud, which is available on PC. And this is a roguelike that kind of tries to modernize the form a bit and add some uh, generative narrative elements into the game, too. I think you'll find it to be really mechanically crunchy. Mike, you spent a little time with it already, right? Yeah, no, I died real quick. Um, and then <laughs> I, 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 I just tried to take something from a chest I thought I was hidden. Um, but yeah, then everyone descended upon me. Um, yeah, I think it, I think it does, it's, I think it does a really good job of looking intimidating. For sure. It's got a very, uh, ominous vibe to it, the whole thing. Um, it, it's, it's got a, a very, like, it's sort of a retro look to it, but it's a little more menacing than a lot of retro computers look, honestly. Yeah. They've got a scan line, like kind of like like almost like filter on everything, which mm -hmm. is not coming through very well on the stream. So I hope that that's not gonna look like it looks. It, it looks like there's thick scan lines on the stream, but they're super fine in the actual game. So yeah, it's a very subtle get, effect. Hopefully, when we get into the game, it doesn't it doesn't look as weird. English, uh, English retro art. Okay, Twitch, what the fuck are you on? Sorry, sorry. I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. What are you fixing? These tags are going bonkers. I think that this is pretty obscure. This is obscure? I, well, I, I still haven't refreshed. So it says <laughs> roguelike fan translation PS1 obscure English. Yeah, my, now it just says roguelike PC retro art English English. We're going to leave it at English, English, folks. English, English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Imagine cheering for the England. No thanks. Just the language, please. I, oh my goodness. I just refreshed and yeah, there's a Quantum Mania stream. <laughs> Thundernath says, I listen to Jewel a ton now because she has a lullaby album my wife plays for my kids. Buddy... If we get close to a lullaby right now, this whole stream's going down. We are both waved. I, um, I absolutely, on, on numerous occasions, um, if, like, my, if my one-year-old asks for me, like, asks me to sing her a song, um, like a, like a lullaby, I'll sing her that, what's that, uh, fucking... Rockabye, <laughs> you know, I'm talking like everything. <laughs> she's like, she's like, she's like, song, what? song, and I'm like, she grew up with the children of the stars. <laughs> oh God, dude, what are you doing to your children? <laughs> oh my God, I, I've sang I her, I've sang her all, all of, uh, um, like all of like uh, walking on the sun. That like, yeah. I used to work in a scrapbooking store, and I think I heard that Rockabye song every ninety minutes. Yeah. On a on a loop with like trains, drops of Jupiter, and just like every awful soft rock song you've ever heard. And I lost, you know, several portions of my brain in that per job. Personally, I think it's just good parenting to tell your one year old to put the crack, put put away the crack before the crack puts her away. <laughs> good advice. You got to teach them young. Yeah. What crack? What crack is and why to avoid it? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, let's let's get back on topic here. Something I've also asked: Why would the lines be larger on the stream? And this is kind of like a unique problem with scan lines in general, right? Because the tank has issues here too. Yeah, it has to do with um, it has to do with the fact that it's um, I don't like it's not scaling perfectly. Um, I'm playing on a 1440p uh, monitor, and then it's scaling it to a 1080p image, um, and those scan lines just don't line up evenly uh, with the uh, with the lines of the um, with the, with the lines of of what's going out to the stream. So sometimes and it I'll... just it happens to hit black lines for a few, and then all of a sudden it's hitting you know it 
it's hitting the colored in lines and back and forth. And that's pretty normal for capture cards anyway. So, like, when we were showing off the retro tank, we just straight up did not turn scan lines on because the thing would just look bad. They would oh. make the, the image look worse. Whereas in person, they're, like, the reason why you buy the darn thing. Um, I want to say Patrick Nilsson, first timer. Howdy. Nice to see ya. Um, let's get into to Caves of Cud. We've got some cutting around to do. All right, we're doing permadeath for sure. Um, do you permadeath have any... is the good stuff. Do you have any recommendations on what type of character we do here? So if you're going to end up wanting to um, like play a little tanky, then there are a couple classes that are good for you. Um, so I would start with a custom instead, or, or with a preset. Okay. And the preset, you pick between two different genotypes. There's like a mutant and a human. And the humans tend to have robot parts in them, and the mutants tend to have, like, grafted arms and body parts and shit on them. Yeah, that's um, sick. So the mutations are a little more um, versatile in terms of what your skills and ability loadouts are, whereas the humans tend to have, like, more clearly defined classes. Uh, 20 so, bonus but, skill points per each level sounds like a lot. It is, which means you're going to have better base scats than a mutant would, whereas a mutant would have a lot more powers and abilities to keep in mind. Okay. Mutations, don't get me wrong, are way more fun, though. Because, like, the, the humans are just like, you have a robot eye, and the mutations are like, you have seven eyes, and they're all on your ass. <laughs> uh, you don't have to tell me twice. So we can start <laughs> as a Marsh Tor, a Dream Tortoise, Gunwing, Star Eye, Esper... Fire frond or a bzzz. <laughs> Um I, I would stick with like a, a, a tanky melee combatant. Just so uh, you can get used to the combat without having to think of it too hard. Yeah, let's do a dream tortoise then. That sounds sick. Emit sleep gas. Big respect. There's a lot of full house going on in this comment section right now and you know. <laughs> More power to you. More power to you. <laughs> Hugo says long fur to avoid baboon aggro. This game is so good. Excellent. Right. So where are you thinking? Oh, what am no, I thinking about? My, uh... Did you did you pick your your abilities? Uh, I don't. I think it just. I think. Oh, it might have. Oh, it did it for you because of the. Yeah. The... Yeah. 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 That's good. Uh, just do. Uh, well, I guess. I guess we gotta be Borfucko. We gotta be the Legend of Borf. So, you definitely want to start it in Jopa. So one thing in this game, for certain, is to not attack or steal from people unless you're hot shit. Um, it, it will always lead to you getting murdered pretty much every time, which does incentivize you to like interact with the stage a little more. So, um, I, I've read that the lore is randomly generated, but I've also seen like this, this starting area, every time I've started seems to be the same. Mm-hmm. Okay. So a lot, a lot of the narrative elements are procedurally generated. So the names of places, relics, artifacts, gods... Uh, characters, etc. And then also the, uh, I believe the terrain descriptions and shit like that too. So it's a really, um, it's a really dynamic game because you're not going to see the same text every time you, you start. You might have like a similar quest, but the narrative elements are going to keep changing. There's a zealot yelling, the machine commands that you exercise robots and bring their sacred husks to the six day stilt. I was going to do that anyway, so... <laughs> well, so in this game, there are basically, like... There's a whole, like, robots versus fleshies thing going on. And some people hate robots and are religious fanatics. So if you, like, join up with them, then you'll get a really bad reputation. Uh, Hugo says, I love this game, but always make a character for, like, half an hour and then die immediately. Which, that sounds like absolutely what I'm going to end up doing. Hell yes. Uh, let's see here. 
let's talk to our friend here who I've <laughs> have learned from repeat uh, short playthroughs will give me a quest to go to a cave. Yes. Yeah, wants me to go to Red Rock. Well, um, also be your ass sideways if you try to do anything to him. Yeah. Real rough. Real yeah, rough. that's who killed me on turn 61. <laughs> I died on turn 5 last time, something like that. I accidentally attacked him and just... <laughs> and you can share water with uh, people to get reputation that you can change you can exchange for skills and secrets and stuff it looks like water is like the main currency um but it's also the heaviest item that you carry around so it, it's kind of like a you don't have to play into the currency 100 percent, but if you do you want to have good encumbrance and if you're going to be a water themed priest then you go around giving people water and they'll uh you know, they'll do favors for you or let you indoors or teach you skills. The king, for instance, um, will teach you shit. Standardan asks for some lore on the game's creation. So this game is interesting. Um, it's made by a, a developer called Freehold Games. And it's a, it's not a very big developer. I think it's only a handful of people. But it started development way, 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 way back in 2015. And has been continuously updated since then. Uh, one thing that's really great about this game that I would really recommend is uh, Discord community for this game is incredible and, and, you know, really well moderated. Obviously, with a game like this, it's filled with secrets and stuff to find. Um, so, yeah, it, 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 it there's not much to say other than this is one of those kind of modern indie games that just has a lot of style and a lot of flair. And it has only gotten better with time. Rutil said, hello, hello. What'd you find? Uh, oh, he, he just shared the location of a rust bog with me, which sounds like something I'm really gonna want to see. So, the, yeah, the, this seems, this is a very confusing screen to me. <laughs> so this is your trade screen. Right. <laughs> And the, the costs are the relative cost of the items itself. I mean, so you can kind of make a generally fair trade, and then your cash makes up the rest. Gotcha. Look at a bronze stack. I don't feel like I had all this stuff the last one, last uh, game that I played. No, what you get in the beginning is, is randomly generated, too. You have two damn grenades. I mean... Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Standard issue. Hugo says, I love recruiting people in a huge gang, rolling 12 deep, all monkeys and road weirdos and shit. As a road weirdo, I love the representation in this game. I agree, this game is very welcoming to the roped community. Rust Bog was the name of my grindcore band in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well. I don't see any reason to buy anything. Let's let's pop off. Let's Let's hit up a cave. If you give him water, you could learn skills, but I don't know if you took a look at that. I did give him water, and that's how I learned the location of the rust bog. <laughs> you gave him clean water, and he was like, here, I can tell you where to get really shitty water. You're not drinking out of the rust bog, are you? No. Hell no. Whoa. I didn't mean to do that. I, cl I, I clicked on the map to try and see what something was, but instead of looking, he went. <laughs> well, uh, you're suddenly fucked. Oh, hey, we're fighting something. Uh, an ape or something? Uh, what is it? A snapshot scavenger. Where's my... Uh... I usually have like a skill bar here. Where's that? How do I get that back? Your skill bar should be on the bottom there. Right. Like, rifle through trash as a skill, for instance. If you want to use your inventory, that's where you'd have your access to, like, your grenades and shit. Though. I just, I shot it with a bow. Oh, okay. That works, too. <laughs> Hugo says, transing my name to Rust Bog. <laughs> you would sound like someone my dad knows. 
Jaime says, not drinking out of the rust box sounds like robot behavior. Hey, uh, maybe, you know, maybe. Another fun name would be Phil Regular. He could work at a gas station. <laughs> oh my god, there's, there's a lot of shit here. <laughs> I'm fucking him up with arrows, though. I have a feeling I'm gonna be upset that I used those arrows later, but we'll cross that bridge I mean, when we get there. You'll probably be dead. Why was he carrying boots? Or maybe you're making boots out of him? That's fucked up. I think he was carrying boots. That guy doesn't have shit. How do I see my uh, what I'm wearing? Oh, there you go. Well, that's just but, my inventory. Is there, like, a way to see just what I've got equipped? Uh, yeah, let me check. There's a... Uh, wait, There's if you press the question mark button, it'll give you the quick keys. Uh, that doesn't... That doesn't seem to be... What I, that's inventory quick keys. Looking for buttons. <laughs> Ooh, feathered cloth robe. Look how colorful that is. That makes me want to take it. I'd take that. Yeah. Equipped is the E button. Okay. Sandra asks, right, we got a dang robe. Hugo says, bruh, join the robed weirdo community. We are so accepting. I, oh, of course I can't remove my shell. And there's a slot for floating nearby. <laughs> okay. Let's see, how many arrows do I have? Oh, 39. We're good for a while. Oh, yeah. Ooh, a cloak. Bernice. God, I love the music in this game. Is the music procedurally generated? <laughs> it kind of sounds like it. All the best shit in the muds I used to play were wild colorful, says Sender Map. It's true. If you had color text in a mud, you were popping off. A blood stained neck ring. Yeah, like a choker. It doesn't protect you at all. Is there like any like Let me look at it. 400 reputation with baboons. <laughs> <laughs> that could come in handy if we... <laughs> Brother, that is insane. <laughs> I think you have to wear it on principle. Yeah. Well, let's clean it first. Oh, and that takes water. I don't want to use water. I got a lot of water, though. Give these a little bit. Yeah. Hugo does bring up the important point that baboons are brutal in this game. That's true. They beat the shit out of you. Oh, I can... Dead Chicken says, Hiya, what's a mud? Oh, buddy, that is a big question. I think the best way to describe it as a mud is a, a, a old form of a multiplayer text-only game. That happened in chat rooms, uh, sometimes on forums, too. 
it's there was a very unique community built up around various different muds in the 80s and 90s even in the early 2000s um they started as you know like dungeon crawling games but the genre expanded hugely by the time the 90s really hit and the internet became popular so there was dragon ball muds and there were uh i don't know maniac mansion muds anything you could think of pro wrestling um mike did you do any muds yeah yeah i did threshold what is threshold that, that was that's the one we were talking about the other uh week but the guy that uh it was run by that guy who called himself aristotle oh my god yeah, yeah. <laughs> And like we we made we uh, my buddy and I we made a bot to like farm low level stuff for us. And like yeah, it was a it was a wild time in my life. I'm sure you learned a lot. Question mark. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what am I shooting here? Snapjaw brute. Rutillo said, I heard the Discworld mud still exists somewhere. Um, that is the most believable thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Hugo says, a guy called himself Aristotle running a mud? That's some Ender's Game style shit. <laughs> this thing needs to die, holy shit. Hey, Mace, I got one of those. There are definitely still muds out there going strong. Um, Telnet was popular. IRC was popular. Um, I saw some on forums as well that were kind of asynchronous. Oh, we got guns now. Oh, baby. The Isachar rifle. A sw and a small violet tube. I don't know why, but I'm, I have a feeling it's going to be important. <laughs> <laughs> Apply. Apply violet tube, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, a, it's a healing thing. Oh, okay. And I just wasted it. Or maybe you clear, like clarified your soul. Oh, this dragonfly doesn't have anything to trade with me. <laughs> what a piece of shit. Yeah, fuck that thing. I don't want to sound transactional, but dragonflies never have anything to sell. Ooh, another uh, chest. I, okay, I'm liking what's happening here, just slaughtering everything we see, looking in chess. It's pretty much how I play Skyrim. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Game has better audio. You rifle through the trash and find a fractured microchip. Okay. Will we ever get back to Red Rocks? Who's to say? I mean, you could always check your map. Are we being shot at? What is that? Oh, yeah, we uh... are. Hugo says, I would fuck so hard with Cicero Caves of Cut. I like Caves of Cut all as one name. We're gonna level up soon. So if you survive this, oh yeah, you got it. You got it. So fucking good at this game. <laughs> what? Why am I getting attacked by a boar? <laughs> oh, you critted a boar. <laughs> Yeah, here we go. Gain three hit points, 78 skill points. Do I have to spend skill points? Like, what's happening here? Yes, and uh, you also got a mutation point, so you can mutate. I like that. So I think it's C to go to the character screen? Uh, that brings up this talk thing. Mm -hmm. uh, X is for character and A is for abilities. X is where you go to spend your points. Um, P is to spend points and skills. What does Ego do? Um... Uh, I believe Ego has to do with your, like, 
magic ability. I'll have to take a look at that. Yeah, okay. yeah. Cause... Ego affects how much items are traded for and are used for persuasion trees. Also for recruiting other creatures by using proselytize, rebuke robot, or beguiling. Unlike other attributes, ego is the only one that affects mutation levels. Oh, but that's attribute points to do that, not skill points. So mm -hmm. I can't skill points you do with those. skill points you do with S. So you escape the the character sheet and then press S, and you'll go into the skills. Uh, S is not doing anything. P, sorry, P. What's that? P. P is on pepperoni pizza. Sick. Okay. Ego says, mutating is my favorite. I always choose unstable genomes so I can grow extra heads and shit. Fallen. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Lay down grenades is mines. Ooh. Interesting. I only have two grenades, so it doesn't really seem like it's worth it to... Fair. I like that. I like how vague that is. Doubles the chance of interesting encounters. <laughs> Not necessarily yeah, favorable. It just kind of sounds like a dating site. You'll have several favorable encounters with possible partners. So wait, is this one just free? The zero SP, yeah. Why wouldn't I take it? Oh, you need the skill. What's the skill? I'm gonna, just going to blindly say yes. I think the skill is Wayfaring, which costs 100 SP. It's because uh, it's got the bracket around Oh, it. I see. Okay, bows and rifles. I have those, but... You're aware of basic content. <laughs> I heard of them! <laughs> Oh, a tech tick? I've never heard of that. What, what do you mean? The dead chicken linked to Gemstone 4, which is a very popular mud. So that they were playing that back in the day. That was one of the ones where you had to pay for it, which is interesting. Hugo says, if dating was like Caves of Cud, then I'd do it. <laughs> Carrying too much to move. This game sucks. <laughs> where do I see... What What do I... Where do I see weight? Uh... Is it, is it these numbers over here? I'm carrying a Snapjaw corpse. I probably don't want to be doing that. Yeah, that, that's probably worth getting rid of. You really just got to keep looking for a partner that will encourage you to grow that extra head. Yeah, see, that those were the encumbrance, because you dropped a ton of points by ditching the corpse. And these snapshots are everywhere. At least you're putting them down. Yeah, don't mind if I do. <laughs> this boar, uh... Why am I attacking with a light torch? God damn it. Ooh, leather whip. Yeah. Iron mace looks good. Wait, what is... Is the iron mace just a... So that's like a, what, five to hit, and then it doesn't have a damage. 
But I think its damage is or just it's just flat it's too. just flat too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's better than the dread than the dagger. That's for sure. Yeah, but I think the whip is still better than either of them. But the, I mean, I can have something in each hand. Is there like a? Uh, is no, that's is true. this my dominant hand? The asterisk. I think so. I could be wrong though, because that's not where your torch was. Right, but it was attacking with both. Oh, okay. He just says the snapjaws are dope for low-level XP farming because they're basically gnolls, which makes it feel very good for the Tom and me. Yeah, <laughs> fuck him. Um, let's see. I don't have anything for my hands. I'm not... That seems frustrating. Pendernath just shared, at its peak, Gemstone 3 had over 2,000 simultaneous users and 1 million play hours per month. Large numbers for its era. That's, those are huge numbers for 96. That is absurd. <laughs> Hugo says you gotta grow more hands. Ooh, a sun and moon mask. <laughs> the artiste in you. It makes you feel uneasy. Well, I'm going to put it on. It doesn't make me feel that in, that uneasy. I think it's cool. Steel Battle Axe. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh! Look, now I have uh, I have light without a torch. Oh, from your Sun and Moon Mask. Yeah, but probably some other curse. Actually, it's getting yeah. brighter and brighter with every movement. Look at this. What if the sun is rising? Oh. <laughs> well, no, it's still surrounding me, though. Like. Okay, okay. Now, that is a huge field of vision. I don't hate it. Ooh, boar skin gloves. You're getting all dressed up. Yeah. Going for a night on the town. <laughs> oh, God, watch me fucking slaughter these dudes. Okay, how do I throw <laughs> a grenade? Let's look at that. I uh, Maybe go to I for your inventory? Is it this T? I hit T, and now I've got a targeting thing. I think that's for throw. Right, and, that, and there was a thrown slot in my inventory... Or in my equip thing, which was holding a grenade. Yeah, I did it. It's just a stun grenade, though. That kind of sucks. <laughs> yes! Hugo says, literally imagining a guy who puts on a mask and the sun comes up, and he literally thinks it's because of the mask. A literally born yesterday style adult man. <laughs> who then grows an extra head. Just for the mood. <laughs> that chicken said, did you say, I heard foreskin gloves. Uh, Hugo... Yeah, not this time, unfortunately. Not this time. <laughs> Hugo says, what does foreskin gloves give you a bonus with, Gentiles? <laughs> Your hands are naturally lubricated. God. Great. <sighs> Ooh, holy shit. So can stuff not follow you between screens? Some things can, but some things don't. <laughs> Jaime says, foreskin glove is the worst slang for condoms. <laughs> Single fingered glove. Okay, so let's equip a 
different grenade on a thrown weapon. This is the one that I was hoping to throw last time, but... The explosive ones? Yes. And are you familiar with what Backspace does in this game? Uh-uh. So Backspace, when you're in, uh, just randomly cross up, will bring up a menu of things that you can interact with near you. Um, so, like, when you're in a town, it'll bring you to, like, all the different people that are in your assigned line of sight or some, you know, artifact that you may need the attention of. It kind of saves you from having to scan by eye on every screen. Oh, okay. So does this mean that I'm never going to be able to upgrade my, my armor? Is this particular class? Uh, I think so. Although it might change as you level up. Okay. Oh, you can set what your primary limb is. Okay. Okay, the um the carapace scales with level and will not get cracked or injured. It is also completely wasteless or weightless and causes members of the tortoise faction to be friendly to you. So if you want to befriend tortoises. I guess. <laughs> personally give a fuck about turtles but all having a good time imagining someone who just dislikes turtles just the idea the gall okay so we've almost made it back to the okay how do i get out of the map now <laughs> there's a button that makes you oh, maybe page down could be wrong though no Yep, that's the button. Just choose current location. Okay. There you go. Uh, yes, Cosmic Mercenary says plus, the plus button. I'll do it. I love that you leave a trail of, of stuff wherever you go when you get wet. Ooh, level three. Here we go. You should have a massive amount of skill points now. Yeah. 106. Broken items with bits. <laughs> oh, that seems kind of sick. What's that? The, you the can turrets? Yeah. yeah, deploy missile weapons as turrets. That's pretty sweet. isn't high enough. That's a good purchase. Yeah. Makes sense. You still got plenty of arrows left, too. Whenever you fire a marked target with the bow, your agility is treated as if it were two points higher, so six total combined with steady hands.
Okay, so you can mark something and then get a, a basically a roll bonus. So what about uh, mutation points? I think you have to spend those in the character menu. Whoops, which is X. Yes. Uh, M, buy a new oh. random, random mutation for four points, which I don't have. I think you'd need four points. I think that's the... Um... I do have an attribute point, though. Which I'll probably spend on oh, agility. Okay. There you go. Okay, well, off we go. Oh, did I just slip in, stuff in some ooze? Yeah, I think you got slimed. <laughs> Hugo says, I do a lot of skill checks at work and fail because ego isn't high enough. You'll have to grind by going out, like, behind the dumpster at work and throwing things at squirrels. <laughs> That's basically what this game is. Bloody, salty, slimy, boar fucko. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was, like... Oh, hold up. There we go. Now that it's full screen, I can see all my shit down here. Seventy-five experience for killing a crocodile. In this economy? <laughs> hey, that's a full-time job for people that live in the south. Okay, where the hell is this fucking cave? Like, for real. Uh, <laughs> Could you even find it on the big map or no? I mean, it shows me the area that I'm supposed to go to, which I'm already in. <laughs> Hugo says maybe fighting crocodiles is why southern egos are so high. <laughs> it does explain why a lot of Southerners have psychic powers. Baboons! Are you wearing your baboon choker? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course I am. <laughs> you can trade! You can trade for rocks! <laughs> <laughs> You found a, cho a choker in the desert, and now you can trade for rocks. Live and drink, baboon. <laughs> Let us see what your brethren have. More stones. <laughs> I guess we understand the economy now. Kind of want to just get a shit ton of stones. How much de I mean, the wooden arrows are doing 1d2 also. I guess that's fair. You could... <laughs> You know what? You have no idea how funny this is to me. <laughs> <laughs> you went to the baboon store to buy rocks. 
<laughs> Florida man certainly has a strong ego. Maybe. Or or maybe a just completely like nihilistic ego. Dark ego. Let's <laughs> let us trade for all your small stones. This is what it means to befriend the animals, which is like giving them money for rock. Oh my god, I have 13 torches. Why do I have 13 torches? Because they, they go out. Yeah, but like... I've got my sun and moon mask now. That's true. <laughs> Hugo says, buy all their stones to disarm them. <laughs> <laughs> But they can still hit me, like, <laughs> point blank. They can... <laughs> baboons don't need rocks to punch. That's for real. If if I'm in a fight with a baboon, I'm probably losing both with a rock and barehanded. Oh my god, I still, I'm still carrying too much? It's by two pounds. <laughs> what else we got? Hugo says, the torches go out, or you throw them at baboons to catch them on fire. <laughs> That's a hell of a way to treat a trading partner. Oh, it's your stones that are so heavy. Look how heavy they are. Wait, where are they? Uh, yeah, they are, but they're important. <laughs> it's a symbol of my connection with the bamboos. <laughs> it would be, it would, it would be an insult to the baboons if I were to turn turn up my nose. You know, you've heard the phrase procedural storytelling, and what that means is, I went to a baboon colony, <laughs> I bought all their rocks, and then I threw them on the ground. <laughs> I got these guns, too, but I don't have any bullets. Can I shoot rocks? <laughs> I'm, I feel like I'm going to have to drop one of the guns. Probably. Beaded bracelet. Hugo asks, no, ponders. What is a gun but a very complicated rock? <laughs> Much to consider. I feel like H Hugo really wants me to just start fucking up these baboons. <laughs> Everything, uh, everything Hugo's said since we got to the baboon colony has been very charged. <laughs> <laughs> the dead chicken says, baboons just carry the stones around to get all jacked. You've bought into the baboon MLM. That's right, you have baboon mindset now. You know what, I think you're right. I think that mask doesn't do shit. I think it's now just nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean I just want to be the kind of guy that can believe in a world where Word. magic magic daylight masks exist <laughs> I mean it's still probably like a cool looking mask you know at the end of the day what's really important here looking cool Jaime says, metal is just shiny rock and gunpowder is just explosive rocks. I really can't argue with that. Can't argue with that at all. Let's give it up for rocks, folks. Very versatile. Oh, we got boulders. Like a premium rock. <laughs> hey, you, you, I... like, you like rocks? Trust me, I got uh, I got the best rocks. Don't don't, don't I, believe what those other baboons are saying. I got the best rocks. I love that they're in, like a baboon and they just sell rocks, and then it says like a huge baboon and he sells big rocks. <laughs> like, like that's that's the class system in play there. All right, I guess I better put a uh, put a torch on, eh? 
Oh, I got these slimy weapons. What does them being slimy do, though? That's a good question. Let's look at it. I mean... That doesn't can't tell be me good. anything. Looking at things really does not seem to tell you much. <laughs> no, it's true. <laughs> oh, show effects. Slime stained and stained by slime. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> like, it doesn't seem to really bother me. Not really. I can clean it. <laughs> but why? Uh... Yeah, it's not really helping me understand what's going on here. It says you can drink slime. Cool. <laughs> I seriously cannot find this fucking cave. Okay, slime is just cosmetic. You can just embrace the slime. Hugo says, the bigger the boon, the fatter the rocks. Prancer says, it's time to get rich off the rock equivalent of a pump and dump. A quarry and scory. Uh, so it, looks, is... uh, it looks like I am out of uh, arrows. Okay. Well, now is where the rocks come out to play. I think. Yeah. Or that grenade. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's uh, throw in weapon. Wait. I can't select rocks as a thrown weapon? Oh, I, oh, never, I had... Okay, you can expand these categories. Okay. Here we go. Suck rock. <laughs> <laughs> Kill him. Kill him with a rock. <laughs> this <laughs> these are uh these come from my friends. The baboons. My people. Yeah, these are these are sacred rocks for my people. <laughs> and then, oh, and then I can just pick up the rocks again. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a burnt capacitor. Hell yeah. You've broken the rock, Benna. Ooh, salt encrusted bedroll. Okay. I'll take a, bed, <laughs> a bedroll. Oh, what Prince are these Rock has infinite ammo. I don't know. Chromelings. Chromelings don't have shit for me. What about this purple one? Ooh! Probably all shit that I can't use because I'm a f fleshy. Yeah, no books for you. At all. I have to say, Remained in Perth does sound like a terrible biography of, like, an Australian <laughs> actor. Can but I... Hugh, Hugh Jackman's autobiography. I do feel like I want to sell some of these, uh... Like, I guess sell this dagger. Yeah, you should, you should dump as much as you can. The stones don't sell for anything? <laughs> these valuable stones? I carry them everywhere I go! So are all these components, are these stuff that I'm going to be able to use? Or are they stuff for robots? They're stuff for, humans, for crafting. I mean. Yeah? They're stuff for crafting, but you have to have the skill for it, or you have to like know someone to take it to. So, like, <laughs> should I be hanging on to it right now, or...? They don't take up a ton of space, so I don't see the harm in it, but also, like... If you have zero interest in that, just sell them. Sell anything you're not going to use. I mean, it's still a roguelike, ultimately. 
Francis says, yo, this guy can teach you about Verithrunism? It says he's an, an esteemed Verithrunite tutor. Ooh. Yeah. But I, in order to do that, I would have to give him oil, which I don't have. Oh, right. <clears throat> and I don't know what Verithrunite is anyway. <laughs> It's a it's a religion. It's a faith. <laughs> Hugo says, "LOL at June saying the heaviest thing to carry is water, and here my brother has his pockets full of rocks." <laughs> you gotta forge your own path, man, and that means big pockets full of rocks. Yeah, just searching through trash. Prancer X says the rocks are their dollars. It's true. I just accidentally uh, walked into this room and killed something. Whoopsie. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> I'm just reading this back because it's in front of me. Um, Hugo says, Who's afraid of Barth Ginia? Fuck. <laughs> Ooh, we found a, uh, we found some ruins. Okay, okay, okay. I don't have a thrown weapon equipped. It's like it doesn't even know I have rocks. <laughs> Ego says, transing my last name to fuck would be the funniest thing on the planet. <laughs> You'd basically be obligated to become, like, a stage performer or something. Ooh, here we go. Boar jerky and another bloodstained neck ring. Uh, let's go, baby! Who are you making friends with now? Let's be honest. First, I gotta clean the net crane. Now, uh... it's another one that makes baboons like me. <laughs> Let's go. The baboon god. I mean, essentially. <laughs> right? Is that one? I love, the, I, yeah, I love no. the idea that, like, apes love you because of your jewelry. That, that kind of tracks, in my opinion. <laughs> I've seen, like, I've seen videos of, like, monkeys watching, like, close-up magic. It doesn't take much. All you have to do is show them, like, a cool spinner chain and they're going to lose their fucking minds. Never go to the zoo wearing Ghostface Killa's, like, arm-mounted eagle statue. Ooh, we're going hey. down the stairs. Oh, it's stairs time, baby. Yeah, get stuck. Prancer says, neck rings at night, baboon's delight. <laughs> That's lovely. <laughs> Actually, I think it's time to switch from our whip. Uh, remove that. So we got this two-handed sword. It does mean that we won't be able to hold our torch. 
in a dungeon. Yeah, but if I just swing wildly around in the dark. Dead Chicken said, but they're always covered in blood when you find them. This may not end well. Some some monkeys got have have enemies. That's part of the price you pay by wearing the choker. Some of the apes have ops. I love that these uh, um, these crocodiles now can't get through my armor. <laughs> That's why in uh, in nature, the turtle is the alpha predator over the alligator. Prancer <laughs> says, "You ever seen that movie Perfume?" <laughs> Good. Anyway, says it's like in Fallout New Vegas when you were the wrong armor in the wrong part of the map. Yeah, exactly. Don't go into the turtles' territory. What did that do? Uh, you touched an orb, my man. Is that bad? Why am I stuck in here now? Blocked by some plant matter. You can attack stuff. Yeah, I can attack the orb. Okay, wait a minute, hold on. Hugo says, turtles go so hard. They were on top of the meta for so long. Shame on humans for eating them all. Y'all need to leave turtles alone. For real. Nobody needs to be eating turtle. I mean, no judgment if you like eating turtle or whatever. Am I stuck in here? They're adorable. There's got to be a way to get out. Can you attack the wall? I don't know how to, like, force attack something that's, like... Try inspecting it. Let me eat real quick. In my hometown, they had to put little fences up on the highways just to keep turtles safe during migration season. And I think that's adorable. Little turtle-sized fences everywhere. Come on. Come on. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, it doesn't let you really interact. Does it let you interact with the, um, yellow stuff? That's just, that's just sap. I can just get co covered in sap. I can roll around in that. <laughs> can you light it on fire? How do I do that? With a torch? Like, yeah, with a torch, but like... If you throw a torch at it... Is that, throwing torches at stuff will light things on fire. Hugo says, nobody's eating turtles anymore, but they used to be everywhere. We must have ate a lot of them, or there would be more. Also, you're from Turtle Fence Nation? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Muskegon, Michigan. My beautiful hometown. One of the political issues that radicalized me as a youngin' was... Watching weirdos going up against a, a turtle fence. When it's clearly the coolest thing you could do with government money. I, all I've succeeded is doing in doing is lighting myself on fire. You can pour liquid on yourself, I think. Yeah, but like all we've done here is like created a different problem to solve. <laughs> You're just trying to sleep it off. 
Wait, how do I pour water on myself? What's this pour? Oh, there it is, yep. Francis says it's okay to eat that turtle, but only if you can eat it whole. <laughs> Sucking on a turtle like a deviled egg. <laughs> Even better. Prancer says, imagine the egg scene from Cool Hand Luke, but he swallows a whole turtle like a giant pill. Bedroll. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Bedroll must be laid out before you can do that. Does it just mean drop? He goes singing about the turtle fence. Yeah, I come from the turtle fence place. I think it's cool. Patrick said, I used to live close to you, June. I lived in Allegan in between 99 and 2018. Uh, respect. I lived in Allegan for a while, too. I've lived in Muskegon, Holland, Sagatot, Grand Rapids. Worked in Dwajak and Hart. Love West Michigan. Not there anymore, but I do like that place. Rutilla says, is this a bad time to bring up that eagles occasionally eat tortoises? I no, you gotta respect eagles for doing what they're doing. I mean, they're sick. Okay, so I dropped that bedroll and now it's just gone. In the sap? I don't know, but it sure isn't anywhere. Uh. Oh, no, it's in my inventory again. How do I lay it out? It's like you can't sleep on it until it's laid out. But there's no option to lay it out. It wouldn't be drop, is it? I, that's what I tried to do. You just pick it up again. Hmm. And sleep just tells you to lay it out? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bedroll must be laid out before you can do that. All right, I'm on the pace. <clears throat> Oh, it says there's little need for sleep in Caves of Cud, so it's basically useless outside of flavor. Okay. Alright, so that won't get me out of here. I think I think I'm just fucked. Maybe. Yeah, that wall's oh. a different color because it's stained in sap. Hold up, hold up. Ready, ready, ready? Uh-huh. Um Force attack, hold control, and then move in that direction to force an attack onto friendlies, wall, doors. Uh, hold it with a high penetration item equipped. So it's implying that you can hit something. Hugo says, I'm from Alaska. Eagles are busted. I lived in Anchorage for a couple of years. Um, y'all's, y'all's eagles up there are wild. Uh, yeah, I would agree. Eagles are generally busted. But, like, Respectfully busted. They also have knives for hands. That shit's cool. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Now I gotta... Oh, I'm all wet. You go. I lived in Anchorage for a couple of years while I worked at the public library up there. Uh, 2011 to 2013. I like it up in Anchorage, but it's also very um, Florida and Texas at the same time. I do miss it, though. It's very pretty. And uh, some of like the Myrna's is really fun. Tommy's Eagle Stop. Or Tommy's Eagle stop. Tommy's Burger stop, I think, about, like, probably once a week. I mean, it says, the eagle screech we all know from pop culture is actually some kind of hawk. Eagles look red, but sound lame. They, they kind of sound just like a, ah! It's not really a, a sharp noise. 
We used to have a lot of eagles nesting in our front yard, bald eagles, when we were growing up. So they like to nest uh, on the trees. They're not even bald. <laughs> it's, it's false advertising. Oh, shit! No! Laser to death that? by a low-light laser turret? <laughs> I think you really need some fucking torches in this game, my friend. I mean, I had a torch on. <laughs> and you still got murdered by a laser that's so fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I'll be damned. <laughs> that's, a, that's a respectable run, my friend. That's longer than most of my runs in this game. <laughs> So do you want to try making a custom one now? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess we could do that. Hugo, I worked at the Muldoon branch, which is over in Muldoon area over by Mountain View. Um, I really love that part of town, so I was really happy to work there while I was there. I did spend some time at the big library, though, which is also very fun. Shout out to Lusak. I mostly did children's library and materials, so story times and Ordering books and after school programs, stuff like that. I'm kinda like an apostle, but I have a feeling that's gonna that's like a long game. It's not really a long game so much as like not a fighting game, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like you can get a lot done by talking to people and convincing people of things. Um, to the point where you can even have a party following you around. But it you probably won't be dungeon crawling as much. Any recommendations? No, I, I like I like the guns slinger because I think it's a fun way to go through the game. But the Marauder is cool because dismembering is very graphic and very fun. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, I'll dismember. It's a cool it's a cool keyword ability to have access to. <laughs> okay, here's all your, your fun stuff where you get to choose your actual mutations. Okay, so I've got 12 points. The morphotypes are like classes, basically. Okay. The unstable genome is like you, you gain random abilities. Yep. And it's a... Uh... You get crazy shit very fast. Well, you can have you can have three three of them. Mm hmm. Wait. So is it is it, does that mean there's three? It, there's three thirty three percent chances for it to proc. If I get three. Yes. Yeah. Well, you choose from three. So you get to pick one out of the three. And they're random, so they could be more expensive ones. Like, yeah, it's like, I think like Slay the Spire style, where like you're going to get three choices, then you pick one. Yeah. Could be good, could be bad, don't know. I, I yeah, you, I love random chaos, so. <laughs> you occasionally peck at your opponents. I like that it gives you more ego for some reason. And a good reputation with birds. <laughs> uh... Ego says, I have friends that lived near Muldoon at the time. It was fun to go to the park near the airport with the fucked up trees. I wish I did that. I spent all my time in Spinard, unfortunately. So I was in my 20s and very stupid. Yeah, I want night vision. Night vision is cool. 
Prancer says, can you get a slime trail? You can get slime glands, that's for Ooh. sure. And you can walk over slime without slipping. True. <laughs> Hugo says, this makes much more sense if I'm from cold Florida. There's some Texas up there, too. There are people wearing literal cowboy hats in the winter. What's up? Jaime says, stiff upper lip, is this why Brits call girls birds? <laughs> Awful. Awful. <laughs> Congratulations. That hurt my head. What are you going for last? You've got... I didn't realize there was a whole... Ooh, telepathy. Mm -hmm. Prancer says some literal Texans up there on account of oil stuff. That's very true. Big ass belt buckles, cowboy boots, the whole deal. I'm going to grab teleport other because I like being able to just like teleport away things that are difficult <laughs> to deal with. shit out of existence. Yes. If you leaned into those kind of abilities, it might be more fun to do the um, like persuasion style character. Give yourself a little bit of like Gandalf, but you've got three fucked up legs or something. Okay. But I don't know. I like the idea of, of having night vision so far. What was the other one you picked? Um, night vision, three unstable genome, and then teleport other. I like it. Yeah, just... Uh, what's that? I was going to say, this is a very upsetting character. <laughs> okay. Points remaining, 44... Oh, yeah, okay. These at least tell you what the stats do. Yeah, that's good to know. I just randomized my stats. It's probably a bad idea, but, you know. It's the only way to play. You know this. We're not here to win, folks. We're going to have a good time. Poor fuck of the second. Here we go. And this time, I'm not going to get lost by randomly clicking on the map. answer says i'm here for a borf time not a long time <laughs> <laughs> amen yeah share a secret with me water brother <laughs> yes i don't know that i want to do that You can buy his Bible. Yeah, that's that expensive, though. What, you wanted to buy his Bible? What's that? You wanted to buy the Bible? No, it's, uh, no, but, like, it's just expensive. I just recognize <laughs> that I can't. want more 
more people to drink with. Francis says, please consider Christian Mutant. That's, that's just <laughs> all the X-Men. <laughs> Hugo says, there's all kinds. My wor uncle works for an oil company up there. And the family are from Maine and Minnesota, so any sufficiently outdoorsy, educated Shrek-like would fit in. <laughs> <laughs> Shrek-like. Liking taxidermy is enough to get by up there, but if you don't like it, good luck going to anyone's house. Um, I can vouch for that. I think they're around. Um, I had a lot of good front yard, backyard parties up there. Lots of... Uh, Lots of 3 a.m. clove cigarettes and all the shit you, you do in your 20s. N no! No! <laughs> what happened? Jaime says, Nightcrawler is Catholic, and in the cartoon, he converts Wolverine. What? <laughs> what? In which cartoon? If the answer is the Fox Morning TV show, that's even funnier. That's the funniest possible thing I can imagine. I the hope. 90s one! Oh my god, it is that! <laughs> what? <laughs> that's... That's ridiculous. I, I grew up Catholic, so that's fucked up. I mean, it's fucked up even <laughs> if I didn't grow up Catholic, but there's no way. <laughs> It's fucked up that Wolverine is Catholic. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to Google this. I'm, I am so fucked up. Oh my god, okay. Nightcrawler was a monk, and at the end of the episode, Rogue sees Logan praying in a church. Oh my god, this fucking... <laughs> it just died to a crocodile. God damn it. Well, I mean, we already are at our time limit, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, we should probably clue folks in to what we're doing later in the week, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, you want to do another uh, magic stream? Okay. Yeah. Um, so, we'll be doing that after your normal Greetings Adventures time slot. So, just like 11 EST 10 Central? Yep. All yeah. right. It'll be uh, pretty much uh, pretty much the same time slot. Um, just... Just normal. I do. I do need to finish. I still haven't finished my uh, draft games. Mm. Um, do you want to? Do you want me? To, you want I should finish those before we do it, or do you want to burn through them on stream? Yes, I'm ambivalent. If you want to do more drafting on stream, fine by me. But yeah. I'm perfectly happy just you know walking you through games if you prefer that. Okay. Yeah, we'll see if I uh, we'll see if I get around to it between now and then, and if not, then we'll just do the do the games. Yeah. Don't don't make a job out of it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hugo says we can sign off with this. Hugo says this reminds me of an ancient Chinese wisdom: a bird does not sing because it has the answer; it sings because it has a song. The comic book writer has converting Wolverine to Catholicism. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, have a lovely Catholic evening, y'all. <laughs> yes. Amen, brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a good night, everybody.